right guys, uh, sorry it's been so long, I've been working a lot lately, and working on a lot of projects, and trying to get this tank back to what it's supposed to be, um, so some updates on this tank, I have removed my basilisk from this tank. Um, she was just tearing stuff up, knocking stuff over all the time, um, and it just, it wasn't working very well. Um, I would like to do something like this for her in the near future, um, but for now, this is just going to be my smaller reptile, um, enclosure. Um... New additions to this tank since I removed the basilisk. Um, I have two North American gray tree frogs, and that's it. Um, so I have the two brown anoles, a green anole, a long tailed grass lizard, and two North American gray tree frogs. Um, another update some of the babies from my crawfish's last pregnancy. I've survived and they're about an inch long now um, and at least one of them is still around and doing good. Um, going back to my crawfish, she's actually pregnant again. Um, so I should be getting more soon. Uh, and my intention when I got her was not to breed them. Uh, she wasn't, I didn't want to breed them. Uh, it just happened that I, the only crawfish that I found that I really liked was um, a blue marbled self cloning crawfish. So that's what I have. Um, so she clones herself. And uh, yeah. So. Anyway, um, this is kind of a maintenance video. I'm going to be draining most of the water, um, scrubbing it down. I will probably end up taking most of the aquatic decor out um, just so I can better um, siphon and get all the yuck off the bottom. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it.
Okay, so what I've done, as you can see, is I sucked out the majority of the, well, I guess, garbage um, off the bottom. Um, yeah. Um, and then I drained two-thirds of the water out, so about 70, 75% of the water out. Um, took all the decor out, rinsed it, um, took my live plants out, rinsed them. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much it. Um, I did see two of the juvenile crayfish in here. Um, so I have a total of three for now. Um, I will not be keeping all of them. Um, I may keep the original two offspring that have survived just for sentimental reasons. Um, I have added some live water lettuce. Um, it's wilting back, melting back. Um, I don't know if it's going to melt back all the way. Um, but that was a big reason for all the yuck on the bottom. Um, it was melting and the fish are shredding it and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, anyway. Um, I did at the beginning, um, here, right back there by that clump of moss, um, it looked like a fish had flopped up there and couldn't get down and, yeah. He was stuck to the rock, so I had to peel him off the rock. Um, I've never had that happen before, so I'll keep an eye out for that. Um, but my plans for this, um, I might be getting another green anole. I might be getting another brown anole, or two green anoles and a brown anole, um, all female just to balance out the male to female ratio in this tank um, and then I want to get five more I had two panda Corydoras or two Corydoras in here one was panda and then I have my speckled who is swimming about down here um, and the panda Corydoras passed away uh, I'm not really sure why because the other one's totally fine um, but I would like to get five more Corydoras. Not sure which kind yet. Um, I really liked the panda. Um, just so I can have a school of them. I have a friend, um, who has quite big schools of Corydoras. And, um, he really enjoys them. I'm not, like I said, I'm not getting them to breed. I just want to see how my spotted Cory... behaves in a schooling situation because they behave from my friend's experience a lot differently in a schooling environment than they do in um, a single or even a pair. Uh, so that's something I would like to do. I have three of those Siamese cleaner fish, algae eaters, um, also known as flying foxes or Chinese algae eaters. Um, they're doing good. They're getting pretty big. I won't be getting any more of those. Um, and I don't plan to add any quote-unquote new blood to my platies. Um, I'm kind of letting what I have right now grow out. Um, and once they grow out, then um, I will be taking them to my pet store, D's Pets, to um, trade in. Um, but yeah, I mean... Other than the water getting super gross, um, and the fish flopping up on, on the rock, um, I haven't had any issues. Um, yeah, um, I'll give y'all a quick peek of something I've been working on for the past two to three months. I'll have to go in the other room. And here it is. This is my new gecko terrarium. I will be breaking down and redoing, well not totally breaking down, but redoing the 40 gallon that I have. 
and if her mother will let her, it's going to the owner of Sparkles, now known as um, Sparks, who was a gecko of mine until I realized that she was actually a he, which is very common when you buy younger animals. I'm babysitting him for now. He's looking great. Um, but yeah. So he'll be getting that 40 all to himself. If her mom will let her have it. Because it's quite a big tank. But, yeah. So that's Sparks. I don't know if you guys remember, but he was the size of my thumb when I got him. Uh, but yeah. Um, I will be kind of doing a video on this once I get it finished. Um, I was going to do a whole relapse thing, but it was kind of like spontaneous. Um, I did film the installation of the tree, um, but that was it. I didn't do how I put the glass in or coating it, decorating it, any of that, um, which I wanted to do, but just didn't. Like I said, it was kind of spontaneous. I just was like, oh yeah, I have to do this, so I just did it and didn't film it. Um, but I will be going through everything. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then since we're here, Miss Candy, that's a blueberry. I put one there last night and it was gone this morning, so I guess she likes it. So yeah. And I will be doing an update video on her. It will probably come out before this video. Um, just for editing reasons. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. If anybody has any questions um, or tips, info, anything like that, just shoot me a comment. Till next time.